you. So don't forget the opening statement. Well, I should have known better. Oh, we're going to start with you, Mike. Are you ready? Go ahead. Well, good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you uh, also to those of you who are listening on the radio. Uh, my name is Mike Pompey, and I'm running for Congress. I, uh, Fifteen months ago, I concluded that Washington, D.C. had fundamentally lost its way. That our elected officials there were no longer connected to Kansas in the way we all know that they need to be. And that they had a misunderstanding. They thought they were the ones that gave us all the rights and all the powers, and that they didn't understand that they come from our Creator. You know, I've not run for office before. I grew up in Southern, Southern California. My mother's from Wellington, Kansas. I've got cousins here tonight uh, from the 4th District. My grandfather was a sheriff in Mitchell County. And then went to West Point and served in the Army after that for five and a half years. Uh, the first three serving along the uh, East German and Czechoslovakian border uh, during the Cold War. Uh, I then left the service in 1991 and went to law school. Practiced law for three years. And then with three of my West Point buddies came to, back to Kansas to start a small company from scratch. It was a company called Fair Aerospace. We built it from nothing into one of the five largest subcontractors in all of the aircraft manu manufacturing industry right here in Kansas. We were very proud of what our team built there. Today I run a company called Century International. We do servicing and uh, uh, distribute equipment to the oil and gas industry. My wife Susan and my son Nick are here tonight. Uh, and I hope to get a chance to tell you a little bit more about the experiences I bring. Uh, I, I'll say this too tonight. I think some of you listening on the radio and some of you here will see that the candidates sometimes sound like they're saying about the same thing. Uh, but listen closely. We could not be more different. Take a look at our experience set. Take a look at the uh, way we've lived our lives. Don't just listen to us talk the talk. Make sure that we have been concerned about the issues and voted on the issues that we're asking you now to vote for us on. I think that's really important. Take a look too at the people that we have around our campaigns. Uh, I often say that birds of a feather do indeed flock together. Uh, I'm, I'm very proud of the folks that are supporting our campaign, and they are a good reference point for those of you who care deeply about particular issues. I look forward to the chance to talk with you tonight. Thank you. I'll make sure this works. Thank you, everybody, for coming out this evening. Uh, I am Wake Hartman. I am a candidate for the 4th Congressional District. Wake Hartman, myself, is the only Kansan in the race. Born and raised in Wichita, graduated from Southeast High School. Worked my way through Wichita State University. Multitude of jobs were painting houses, selling trash cans door to door. Uh, repossessed cars for a couple of semesters for Kansas State Bank. So if you ever have uh, a lot of fun on Saturday night, go out and steal cars. Uh, that will brighten up your evening uh, quite a bit, I assure you. My wife and I is here this evening. I have five grown children. Six grandsons. We reside in Roseville, Kansas for right at 17 years, going on 18 years. I am a businessman. I am not a politician. I'm not trying to build a political resume or get an on the job promotion. I'm a businessman with over four decades of skills. Through the good, the bad, and the ugly, I have learned. I've learned how to balance a budget, I've learned how to meet a payroll. I have learned how to work with every increase in government regulation, increased taxes. I've even had to deal with my own health care problems from my own companies. Thanks to Obama and Pelosi, it's going to become much, much harder on me to grow and create thousands of jobs, which I have done in this community for over four decades. So let me assure you, there are differences between the candidates. Those with skill sets, those that have been on the job and done the fight, and those that have succeeded. Everybody in this arena knows this evening that you can look at the things I've done in the community. You can drive by and actually talk and touch the people and the jobs that I have created. Please consider me for your next congressman. Thank you. Jim Anderson. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is uh, Jim Anderson, and I am running for United States Congress in the 4th District, and I am an American. I would like to ask briefly uh, if there's any veterans in the audience. Could you raise your hand? Do we have any veterans? Thank you. Any World War II veterans? God bless you. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I have been an airline pilot for 25 years and I bring uh, both uh, commercial and corporate aviation and business management experience uh, 
to this race and uh, to this community. I've been married for 18 years uh, to my wonderful wife Liz. We have three children and we go to the Church of Mary Magdalene where I am a parishioner and I am an usher and my children go to Magdalene and Capen as well where we are volunteers. I, ladies and gentlemen, am the leader out in front uh, to reform the government for the fair tax, for the balanced budget amendment, term limits, the only one fighting for the term limits, and a pledge to this community, to this district, for no earmarks, ladies and gentlemen. No more earmarks. <laughs> one of the things that's ruining our country, ladies and gentlemen, the Constitution begins with we, the people, not we, the government. And our government has no right to confiscate our money, dictate our morals, decide our health care, and undermine the sovereignty of this great nation. They have no right. I am the town hall Tea Party candidate, uh, if you will, on the Republican ticket. And I am the common sense, constitutional, Ronald Reagan Republican, ladies and gentlemen. Our country's in trouble. And we need to fix it, and I, I look forward to answering your questions. Thank you. And finally, Jean Chirrell. Thank you, Anita, and I'm very pleased to be here. Uh, it's always good to see uh, my, not colleagues, I guess we're opponents, but we're all Republicans, and we are working to get the nomination. Uh, well, just a little bit before the, the um, meeting here tonight, I attended a rally. And I think all of you can see this. Jobs. That's why I'm here. In August last year, when I started uh, running for, for Congress, we were talking about jobs. The 4th District has the highest unemployment rate in the state. 14,000 people have been laid off or more. 60,000 people have lost their jobs in the state. And it's no better. We keep thinking that there may be a glimmer of life at the end of the tunnel where we might be seeing an end to this recession. But people are hurting. People are hurting in the urban districts and people are hurting in the rural districts. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I want to go to Congress to end this recession and work with the state, with local uh, government, with the people to bring back economic development and economic recovery. I am a um, I am a native of Independence, Kansas, and I grew up there. My great-grandmother and grandfather went to Cape to Kansas in a covered wagon. My family has stayed here. The only reason that I am judged not to be a Kansan is because I was born on a military base called uh, Cherry Point, North Carolina. My dad was in the Marine Corps. Uh, I want to bring the tanker contract back. I want to bring jobs back from Mexico. I believe that my work in the Senate, also my background in education, my experience, my, my background both uh, in southeastern Kansas and here, will help me hit the job running, and most importantly, my love for this great state. And thank you for being here tonight. I am amazed I have never seen Four politicians behave so well in a time limit. What is wrong with you people? Uh, I'm sure that will change as we get started. All right, our first question still is, we're going to start down with Mike Pompeo. And I've decided we're 